all the way from the land of the rising sun. Daiwa Tatula 100H. There are, from what I understand, three models of this reel. There is the 100, the 150, the 200. There might be more than that. This is the updated version. I think they said 2024 version. Uh, we're going to check it out. But before we open it up, let's just take a look at the back here. This is going to replace my slowest retrieval reels that recently bit the dust. So I went with the 7 1 and 1. 195 grams, I think that comes out to something like 6.8 ounces. So really light in the hand. And then you've got your severing bearing system. And they work in kilograms and centimeters since it is from Japan. Nothing too fancy on the box. Kind of tells you what it is. Daiwa has that cool spider design. So I'm liking it. When you open up the package, you have your little card here. I don't necessarily know what that's for. Open it up. Take out the cover. All of your paperwork is in Japanese. I'm assuming this is like your warranty paperwork and all that stuff. And then you get to the schematics. I'm not going to open all this stuff up because it's in Japanese. But... It is important to note that there are photos as well. And so it tells you how to break down the reel, how to oil it, how to maintain it. So I'll keep that around. Okay. Let's get to the brass tacks here. Right out the gate, the Tatula I like. Uh, a few things that really stand out. First of all, this is like the Batmobile of casting reels it just looks super sleek silver accents on the brakes on the spool adjuster you've got that really cool spider on the outside of the spool adjustment so black all around sil uh, silver accents i like that you've got the name right there on the spool you've got the gear ratio on the outside there and then the Daiwa symbol. I like how small this is. I like how light it is. That's great. I like also that the drag is pretty clicky. You can listen. Really nice, crisp click. So you know what's going on there. You even have a click on the brake system. This is their MagForce brake system see if I can do this. It's a little hard to get my fingers over, but you can hear that. It's, it's difficult to do. That's why they give you this, um, that's why they give you this adjustment key in the middle here that you can use with a pocket knife or, or whatever. So overall, the bale's really nice. You've got their, I think this is called their wing system. It's their guide for the line, the line guide. Well, it looks really cool. You hit the bale and it comes forward. And you have the TWS on the inside. Let's see if we can get that in focus. There you go. And then when you engage it and close the bale, it pops back. Pops back. Everything is super stiff uh, because it's obviously it's brand new. I just got it in the mail. There are there's only one aesthetic that I don't like about this reel that I'll share with you, and there are and there is one other issue I have with it that I'm just not a fan of. Not to say it doesn't work. Uh, the aesthetic is this key. I, I hate the way that looks. The spool adjustment doesn't click, and it's super tight to adjust, and you can't really get your... It's hard on your fingers to adjust that because it's recessed. 
So you've got this side plate in here, and then this spool adjustment is just super low, and it's hard to get your hand on, and you wind up touching the drag and adjusting the drag by accident doing that. I would much rather have this protrude more or get rid of this piece right here and just give me an oversized knob that I can adjust really easy. Same goes with the brakes. The brakes, I would much rather have it protrude a little bit. If you're not going to make it bigger, get rid of this key adjustment and allow me to do it with just my fingers. I don't want to have to screw with this. Now, a lot of the times, once your adjustment is adjusted, you're not touching it a ton. So that one's okay. I can understand that. I just hate the design, the look of that. Your MagForce brake system goes from 0 to 20. I always start at the 50% mark, so it's on 10 right now. And you got that little hash mark there to show you. So we're going to get some um, line on this thing and see how it performs out on the water. But this is the first impressions right out of the box. Overall, I would say positive. I like a lot of things about it. One aesthetic thing that I think they missed the mark on and two functional things that I'm sure work great, but they're just not great for my fingers. It makes it hard to make these adjustments. So, um, like I said, the brakes aren't as big, uh, aren't as big of a deal as the um, spool tension. But we're going to put some braid on this and go from there. So I'm just running a Texas rig with a crawler. We've been doing really well with the green pumpkin seed. Not today, but. <laughs> and what I like about this reel is it's it's really it's not just smooth like i i've had very little to no backlashes with this reel and it's let me get back to where i want to get back to which is really nice i'm running the power pro braid on here 15 pounds and i'm just practicing pitching up into getting onto the onto these laydowns getting under these trees i watch videos and some guys just do it beautifully they're just skipping that thing off the water but i can get in there and it's just been really nice i, I really have been enjoying this reel which at first i thought i don't know about this one first diwa in many years and Man, it's smooth. Overall, very pleased with the purchase. Like I said, when I got it out of the box, it was so new. I was a little uh, concerned with just some of the things that I saw. But right now, currently, man, it is a really nice, it is a really nice reel. And, um... I've been enjoying it. So, up oh, there's a bite. Come on, come on, come on. For the camera. For the camera. Mm, no. Small. Dang. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Little bastard. It's probably a brim fish. That's what we want. All right, give me that. Uh... I got gotcha. you. Ha! Woo! First one in the Daiwa. Oh, that's a good fish. Swallowed it too. Woo woo! Yeah, that's awesome. 